What's going on guys? Andy here, Cut and Clean Lawn Care, and I'm trying to bring you guys the heat as soon as I can. And right now, I'm with the brand new Gravely Pro Stance 52. I'm gonna go through it and talk about some of the things that I noticed, and then I'm gonna get Trey over here to help talk about a lot of the things they've changed on this machine. I can't wait to leave this town Cause baby, I've been feeling down The cold nights just don't feel the same guys and just like you this is my first time seeing this new design concept so I'm just going to talk about some of the things that I've noticed starting off by saying that it does still have the X Factor 2 deck which in the 52 platform that I use it works really really well one of the other things I'm noticing is they changed the looks of the mower with some laser cut designs uh, looks like a fall solid one-piece chassis the way the deck is actually going up and down, the system that holds the deck as far as adjusting it up and down has changed. It's got a Kawasaki FT730V EFI, man, so no choking on this motor. Something I can talk about that I heard earlier is they also changed the capacity of this mower to a nine gallon tank, which is something that's also pretty cool. Now looking over where the operator would be, which is here in the back, the back plate design has completely changed. And I will say I like the way this plate is a lot more than my older pro stance. It's a bigger bucket. You have a lot more room for your feet, a lot more room to be in here. And with that being said, you have a bigger back pad on it and you are also moved forward more so when you're standing on this mower you're closer to being over the wheels which is going to help your center of gravity out a lot now up here also talking about the controls something you'll notice as you no longer have the cogwheel dial as far as changing the height of your cut but all your controls are pretty much here the same one thing gravely did re-add to their mowers is kind of the speed control bar you can loosen this and change how far the travel is on your handle so if someone maybe not as experienced you can have this toned back where the mower won't go as fast but this is efi you got your key you got your pto switch your throttle gauge is all right here and the same adjustable stuff but like what i was talking about earlier no cogwheel for height adjustment well what does that mean so gravely went away with that cogwheel design for being able to change the height and went into an integrated pin system, changing your heights from 1.5 inches of cut all the way up to five. They do still have the height adjustment uh, foot pedal here. So if you are mowing, you see something in the yard, you'll be able to raise and lower your deck with the foot switch. And you're also gonna have the handle here as well. All right guys, so just me going over the mower and giving you an overview on the things I noticed. I'm gonna grab Trey real quick because he's behind the scenes on a lot more of this stuff and he can give me more in-depth reasons of why they changed some of the stuff they did. So let's go get Trey. So guys, I found Trey. He's been running around talking to everybody, talking about all the awesome new stuff Gravely has going on. But I dragged him over here to talk to you guys a little bit about a lot of the options I saw that were changed on this. So let's give it over to Trey real quick and let him tell you why. Hi everybody, Trey Humphreys from Gravely. I want to walk you through some of the new features and benefits or some of the things we've changed on our uh, new pro stance. We'll start with the height to cut system. What we've done with this is we've simplified the height to cut system. 
before we had the dial a height system in here. What we've done, we wanted to remove some weight out of the tower and bring it down into the machine to increase hillside stability. So what we did is incorporated our vertical height to pin system, height to cut system. So you simply lock the deck up, you pick, pull the pin, choose whatever height to cut you would like, put the pin back in, push the button, release it, and away you go. We also kept our foot height to cut or our uh, foot pedal to allow you to feather over different obstacles. We also reduce the forces required in the height to cut system. Some of the other items we've done is by simplifying the tower design, we've also removed weight out of there. We've went to a larger foot plate with a different vibration isolation system built into it, giving you a little more surface area to stand on that vibrate that reduces vibrations as well as um, increases uh, or changes where you stand on the machine. Uh, we changed the pad around, giving you more surface area and a more comfortable design. We moved the operator three inches forward and changed the angle at which you're standing at. One of the features we had when we originally launched the Pro Stance was an adjustable cruise bar. We brought that back in for new and operators simply be able to bring the, the control bar back. And what it does is limit your forward speed with new operators, making it easy on that um, training curve on how to um, get used to operating it. We next went to a one-piece chassis design uh, to simplify the chassis overall and actually distribute the weight differently on the machine, giving it a better handling of feel characteristics in comparison to our old machine. Overall, with this machine, we wanted to simplify the design as well as increase hillside stability. Now, with all that being said, guys, I don't know what you took from it, but basically what I heard is they redesigned this mower as far as eliminating some of the weight, making it more hill stable and incorporating some of those ideas that we all talk about in commercial mowing. We need more gas, we want to be more stable on hills, and the ease of the design. The more things that are on it are the more things that go wrong. Correct. And that's kind of basically what you guys did on this yes. redesign. Simplified the design and made it easier to work on as well as less things to go wrong. It's like I was saying, along with the 52, they also brought out a 32 in this platform so the same kind of concept changing the design making the way it looks and incorporating new machines they haven't had a 32 in the pro stance they now have a 32 in the pro stance there's people like mower man ls there's people like jc these people need these mowers in their business they have the gates they have the small stuff so gravely's listening to what you're saying and they're producing these products so like i was saying along with all the new awesome designs you also get a brand new platform in the 32. So yeah guys thanks for hanging out with me in this video i just wanted to give you guys a rundown and show you some of the new stuff that gravely's doing with these pro stance mowers i hope you guys enjoyed man i think these are going to be awesome i'm hoping to get one to demo this coming up year so i can see if these subtle differences make a big game changer or not so we'll see you guys like comment subscribe we'll see you in the next one like that thing.